What's up, Rippers? Today we are doing something special. We are doing a video that is unedited, unmicrophoned, unfacecammed, just something to put something on the YouTube. So, this is going to be something I'm going to do occasionally just to get content out there because we are trying to hit 30 subscribers. That's right, 30. So, what we're going to open today is a Ripper box. Pump, I know you're opening a Ripper box. But why aren't you opening a trainer box? Well, as you guys know, it is getting harder and harder and harder to come up with Pokemon cards. To the point where I actually talked to a Walmart employee this morning and a fight broke out in the card section. It was over baseball cards and football cards, so who cares? But the point is, it is getting absolutely ridiculous. When vendors stock, one person normally takes absolutely everything. I'm lucky enough to have a few places that will look out for me and always have good stock like Shining Fates and pretty much everything. And that is Critical Games and Hobbies in Calcutta. But today, these are just some random packs that I was able to come across. Hence, contains booster packs, 10. But the fun part is, which ones? So, let's get into the Ripper box itself. <clears throat> I do want to show you guys some of the extra packs that I had. My wife opened, and of course, she opened this up off camera. No shocker there, but I figured why not put it in the video. So, set this aside. Pop it open. I'll just set that over there. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. First. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what we got here is a new light that, as you can see, is putting something on the packs itself. So, bye bye Oh, wow. I did not know that made such a big difference. Let's try that one more time. Eh, maybe we'll just... Ah, gotcha. We'll just deal with it. <clears throat> okay, so, Crimson Invasion first. That sucks, but you never know what is going to come out of a ripper box. One, two, three, four. Hopefully it's a good card like that Phoebe that my wife pulled. So where are we at? Okay. Trainer. Pilliswine. Trainer. Chim, chim, what's that? Chimicho? Oh, nice magic card. Bunnelby. Shellos. Rem, Remoraid. Shellos again. Finishing up with a Cacturn. Okay, so you really don't expect much out of Crimson Invasion, and that's pretty much what we got out of Crimson Invasion. So, you know what? Let's bring this a little bit closer. Next, okay, we got a Battle Styles. Let me see if I could do something with this light where I can still utilize it but not blind everybody. So I haven't had much luck with Battle Styles. Um, I haven't opened a ton of... <clears throat> a battle styles packs i've really been focusing on shining fates chasing that zard which i still have not gotten which now officially makes the shining fates charizard the hardest card that i've ever pulled um before that was the chunkachu out of vivid voltage and if you've seen on my channel i did pull that on my birthday which was very exciting so, so far, no good. Okay, another Vivid Voltage. I like where this is going. Now let's get a pull. We have to beat my wife's Phoebe that she pulled. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. What if I pulled another Rainbow Pikachu? Okay, Perchland, Trainer, Skiddo. Eevee, Trubbish, Shupit, Choodle, Metagross, and a Drapion V. That is probably the best card we've pulled so far. My wife will be sleeving this stuff up when she comes back into the domicile. So, you know what? Let me see if I can just, because that's really getting difficult <clears throat> to hold that there. I swear to God, everything I buy to make better videos never makes better videos okay so i don't know how many packs we're in I think three four uh 
but that's okay. One thing you have to understand is you're not always going to get lucky, guys. Sometimes you're just going to get nothing. And I could prove that by the huge amount of packs that I've opened lately and pretty much I've got nothing. But that is part of the fun, is chasing stuff and hoping you get something really cool. Okay, okay. So, set that aside. What's next? And, oh, another Battle Styles. So what we're looking for in Battle Styles is that Tyranitar V. That is the chase card in this set. Um, like I said, I haven't opened a terrible amount of battle styles, but, you know, what happens, happens. I'm really on the Shining Fates train trying to get this Zard. <clears throat> so, let's go. And also, you guys have probably seen Chilling Rain, I believe is what it's called, has been announced. That's uh, the next Sword and Shield set that's coming out. So, that's pretty exciting. Sword and Shield, really really is putting out oh vivid voltage and it's a chunk of you is really putting out a lot of sets i didn't know there were so many with this but that's cool that's cool okay and we have a white code card which means we have two chances to get something good let's just get one good card out of here guys one good card to beat my wife's phoebe that's all that matters execute woobat Beldum, Blitzel, Milsuri. We got a Garvantula and a Shaman. Okay, none of these packs are being too, too good to pump. What do we got? One, two, we got three, three packs left. <clears throat> and we got a Darkness of Blaze. Darkness of Blaze does have a Charizard in it. So, let's see if this pack has a Charizard in it. There you go, if you got that. One, two, three, four. Put a Charizard at the back door. If you guys want to watch any of my previous videos before this, you will know I am the great Zardino. I am known for pulling Zards, Trapping Inch, Jigglypuff. Oh, wait, is that the... These are stuck together. Oh, nice Scissor V. Wow, what a nice card. Too bad they're stuck together. I wonder what that... Let me take a little look at that real quick. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with that card because they were stuck together. Because that's really, really an over-the-top nice V card. Okay. So down to two packs. We're trying to keep this under 10 minutes. Wait. Is there two packs left or three packs? I don't, I don't really know. Okay. Another battle style. This is, like I said, kind of a... A gumbo of packs. Um, hence the Ripper Box Fun. It's pretty much what the scalpers didn't want. So I'll take it. All right, Rapid Strike. I see something. There's a black card back there, but it's probably a V. Um, let's just hope it's a good V. Mr. Mime, Bow Toy, Mean Foo, Gelent and a Vincenti V Max. That is the first time we've gotten that card. That is a really nice card. Okay. Okay. Not a complete dud. The Ripper Box is not a complete dud. Vincenti V Max. As you guys know, I will do a Ripper recap after this, but it just won't have the cool Ripper recap thing that my wife has made. If you want to see the cool Ripper recap, watch some of my previous videos. All right, so Vivid Voltage again. We have another shot at that Rainbow Chew. Of course, we get a green code card, so probably not going to get it. All right, guys. Energy, Perntrin, Trainer, Ferrothorn, Clobopus, Electrike, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, a Garvantula, and a Manix Trek. I just got one of those Manic Strex the other day while I evolved into a Manic Strex. Okay, so last but not least from the Ripper Box, we are doing one final pack of Battle Styles. What that means is we have one chance to get the Tyranitar, and I will show you so far what we've gotten pretty much is the Drapion V, this really nice Scissors V, 
that was stuck to the back and a Vincenti V-Max. I can only imagine how much you guys are saying that's not how you pronounce that. Long hair, don't care. There you go with that. One, two, three, four. Final pack. Who's knocking at the back door? Okay, Cedra, Camping Gear, Energy, Glamiow, The Pig, Timber, Ponyard, Kakina. We got a Bronzor and a Bronzog, what he evolves to. That was not what I expected, but we still got some nice cards. I don't think we were able to beat my wife's pool. We will try better next time. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and the next video will be coming out soon, and there probably will be a face cam and some editing if you are lucky. Pokemon Rips out.